Hey everyone, Prashan here from audiotechnology.com. Today I have with me the Hot Turn Ampero 2 Stomp. It's a multi-effects guitar processor that I've already reviewed and you can read the review on audiotechnology.com. There's a link in the description if you wanna check that out. Today specifically, I wanted to take you through how to build a guitar tone from the ground up using the software that comes included with the Ampero 2 Stomp. I think the software is like a much better way of interacting with the unit than just the touchscreen. The touchscreen is great if you've got to make some quick tweaks on the fly on the stage while you're out in the gig. But if you're trying to get the full potential of this unit and really dive into all it has to offer, you really can't beat using the software. If you haven't heard of the Hot Tone Ampero 2 Stomp, do yourself a favor and go check it out because it's a really full featured multi-effects processor. It looks like just another stomp box that could live on any guitarist's floorboard, but in fact, it could totally replace your entire amp cab and floor pedal setup all in one go. It's got incredible amp simulations, really good cab simulations, plenty of effects on board, reverbs, delays, like all the stock standard plates and springs, but also some real wacky delays and crazy long tail reverbs that I found a lot of fun. And, um, plenty of like compressors, acoustic guitar simulators, bass amps, all that kind of thing. So it packs a lot of punch for its size. On top of that, it's got a really well implemented built-in looper and it can function as an audio interface. So it could be the centerpiece of your home studio if you wanna use it that way. So definitely worth checking out. But today, let's have a look at the software and I'll show you how to build a tone using just the app that is available for a free download on the Hot Tone website. So what you're looking at here is the Ampero 2 Stomp software, really nicely laid out. So on the left-hand side here, you've got all the presets, the various tones, and you can just jump between them as you please. And I love that you can filter the tones by style. I think that's so useful. So as you're jumping through tones, you'll notice all this is changing. So up the top here is where you sequence and you can shuffle around the various processes in your signal chain. And then in the bottom section is where you actually manipulate those processes. So I click on one of those and it gives me the settings for that processor. And that's where you can get your hands on it. So I'm gonna just go to a brand new patch. And you can see here, when I'm, you're trying to build a new patch, there's all these different configurations for your signal flow. So you can have A, B to Y, which is like two inputs into one output, or you could go Y to A, B, which is one input to two outputs for a stereo setup. You could do serial, which is just one long string, and this gives you the maximum number of sequential processes if you wanna use it that way. Now my guitar that I have here has two outputs on it. It's got a piezo output for the piezo pickup and the bridge, and it's got a magnetic output for the humbuckers. Now what I wanna do is create a patch in the Ampero 2 Stomp software that is able to treat both outputs of my guitar completely separately. So I have both outputs connected to the Ampero 2 Stomp's left and right inputs, and I wanna create a patch that has a completely separate signal chain for each. So different effects on the piezo output, different effects on the humbucker output. And I wanna show you how easy that is to set up in the software. So for the purposes of the tone I'm trying to create now, I want to go parallel because that's gonna give me two completely discrete signal chains. So currently I have my humbucker output set to the left input. So you can see that coming in there on the left. Now my piezo output is set into the right input of the Ampero. So I'm gonna select right there, just assign that to a regular output. I'm just gonna turn these down a touch so we don't blow anything up. And now if I turn my piezo output up, that's coming through there. And then humbucker output in the left and both together. Nice. So right now I just wanna focus on the humbuckers and um, so I'm gonna turn down the piezo output for a sec and just try and make a nice tone for the magnetic output. First things first, 
you just select a slot. So you can see I have six available slots per chain. Obviously, if I was running this in serial, there'd be more, uh, but you have the number of available slots when you run in parallel. So I'm going to select an amp, pick that slot there. There are all sorts of amps here and you could totally spend hours and hours like I did just going through these and they all sound different. They all have really usable nuances and characteristics. And I love that there's this little blurb over here that tells you what exactly that model is emulating with a bit of detail. That's really handy. And another example of how the software gives you more info than the touchscreen because you don't get to read this, this little blurb on the touchscreen. So I'm going to choose like a bit of a drivey amp, just a subtle crunch. What do we got? I really like this model, the Soloist Crunch, and it pairs up really nicely with the Meza 4x12 dual rectifier cab. So let me try and find that. That one there is quite a nice combo. See how that sounds. <laughs> I was really impressed with how the different mics actually change the tone in a way that I feel is very accurate to the characters of these mics, having used like Arroyo R121 and SM57s on guitar amps in studios. I think the differences in tone are pretty accurate to how these mics really respond to amps in real life. You get that beefier bottom end with a ribbon. And that's really nicely reproduced here. And you switch back to the 57. And it's a more mid-focused, punchy, gritty sound. Um, of course, plenty of options there. You can mix mics. But for now, I'm just going to go with that ribbon mic. And let's just try near center. Nice. And another cool thing about how the, um, the hot tone responds to the way you play is if you roll back the volume pot, it cleans up so nicely, very similar to a real amp. Yeah, so it feels, it feels good, especially when you hook this up to a nice PA system in a live setting. I thought it, it really did feel pretty close to an amp and got plenty of great feedback, which is nice as well. So I'm going to just add a reverb because, you know, we need a reverb. There are plenty of options here again. So all these like stock standard plates and springs are pretty nice. <laughs> Large plate combo spring. The shimmer and cloud models are great for really ambient sounding reverbs. Try the cloud. Crank that up a little and just take a bit of the highs out. I really like that. It's probably a bit much, but let's Add a compressor at the front and see how that's all sounding. So compression options come under dynamics here. Again, no shortage of options. Some of these I thought were suited really well to acoustic guitar, um, but for 
this output. Let's try. I'm just going to turn that reverb down because that's getting a bit crazy. If you want to toggle these processes on and off, it's just that little button in the top right corner. You can hear that's adding a fair bit of gain, so I might back that gain off a touch there on the amp and just take out a little bit of the highs because I don't want it to get too fizzy. Add some mids, a touch of bass. Nice. So I'm pretty happy with how that's sounding for my humbucker output. Next, let's go to the piezo output. So I'm just gonna turn up the volume of my piezo output and this will come in on the right channel. Now I don't wanna actually do too much to this sound. I wanna keep it sounding a lot like it is like an acoustic guitar. I found this compressor model the enhancer actually did some really nice things to it. So I'm gonna see how that responds. Pretty nice, if we turn that bright off. That's quite nice. Let's just try turning the gain up, see what that does. Cool, I like it. And let's just go a bit of reverb. Actually, let's try a delay. Maybe just a really short slapback delay to add a bit of a shadow behind the sound. Um, That's nice. I like that. Cool. So now you can see, I've actually created two completely independent signal chains for both outputs of my guitar. And now using the, uh, the volume pots on my guitar itself, I can mix between the two. Another nice effect is I could just come to the cloud reverb and crank that up so the humbucker output is pretty much just drenched with reverb, but I keep the acoustic guitar, the, the piezo output, pretty dry. And then that's kind of allowing me to bring in reverb underneath the acoustic guitar. So if I just start with the piezo output by itself, and then just slowly introduce a bit of the humbucker output. So you can see there's so much flexibility in this, this combination of a double output guitar and the Ampero 2 Stomp. The fact that it can handle this, that it can run two inputs simultaneously in parallel, giving you the flexibility to treat both outputs with completely separate signal chains 
And the software just makes it super easy to pull these sounds together and it invites experimentation. There's so much you can do. Obviously there's so much we haven't gone into, but there's plenty of modulations like choruses, flanges, like you can really get lost in this and just spend hours and hours making really cool sounds. Now I'll show you how easy it is to save this patch. All you do is come up to the save button there, type in what you want it to be called. Let's go with fun times. Save, yes, I wanna replace it. And there it is locked in. One more thing, there are three foot switches on the Hot Turn Ampero 2 stomp. And you can actually assign any of the processes in any of your signal chains to any of those foot switches so that you can toggle them on and off in a live setting. So let's say for me, I want to be able to switch this epic cloud reverb on or off using one of the foot switches. So you come to the control slash EXP menu and you see all three foot switches here. And this control target actually shows you what you already have set up. So I've got my reverb in chain A and it's in slot five. So let's say I wanna use foot switch three to turn that reverb on and off. I go over here to A5 on off. And now that foot switch will toggle that reverb so I can switch it on and off as I please. Super easy and really handy to be able to have that flexibility on a stage, even though the Ampero 2 Stomp isn't like one of those big floorboards with an expression pedal, it still does have some stage friendly features like that. So I hope you found that useful. And if you are looking into grabbing one of these units, I highly recommend downloading the software and getting to know it because it'll just make your tone creation journey that much more fun. Again, if you wanna know more, don't forget to check out my full review on audiotechnology.com. There is a link in the description. And while you're on the Audio Technology website, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all kinds of industry news and plenty of product reviews, amazing features, interviews with industry pros, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.